we're at Brick Slopes 2023. Um, we haven't really done a real presentation on my Schnabel car here, so we're just kind of hurrying, just walk through it really fast, show you some of the details. Um, first of all, it is ran off of the power function controller. So I got one A for one side and one A2 for the other side. And a couple of functions it does per side is up here. You got like a lift where it will actually lift it and lower it. You can see the whole thing going up and down. So we'll lift it back up right there. And then we also have a swivel. So that way you can shift its weight from one side to the other side and it helps to work around obstacles also. Okay, oh, get it back in the center. Okay, I've got working LEDs on it, as you can tell, looking down it. It's, all, it's currently holding a transformer, but it can hold whatever load. It supports, the load supports its own weight on there. That's how these work. All right, so now we're going to show you how the thing flexes. So we're just going to do it by hand because it's going to be, you know, be too much to drive it with the locomotive right now. But your undercarriage, how it works, all these slide. So they slide side to side and they can go around stuff like this. You got the pivot point there, there, and one up here. And then, like I said, all your axles will slide, will slide to the side to side. You got a little bit of movement up and down. Makes it uh, be able to handle the, the um, switches and the uneven, unevenness of the, of the plates too, so. I'll well, let the big boy go across here for a second. And the nice thing about this model is the fact that if you want to get really crazy, you can actually start drifting it. So it can, uh, it has a lot of uh, flexibility and suspension in it, but you can see how it all can, can kind of move and articulate. On the back, they normally have a flat car with some lights on it for nights, if they ever move them uh, at night, but usually it's a day transportation. And they usually have a caboose for the crew too. Because when they move these, it's usually just a dedicated rail, dedicated line that they move them on. And they don't transport anything else because they, they go, I think, like top speeds, like 35 miles per hour. All right, so here's going into a corner. Now, this is a 120 on the outside and 104 on the inside. So as you can tell, as we enter this, we go all the way across and then into a little bit over the other curve. So that right there basically goes all the way around on a 120 from when it enters to when it stops over here. And this varies depending on the length of your load that you actually have, what you carry. This is actually a little short for what they normally carry. Okay, so that's how the Schnabel cars work. Um, if you get a chance to see one in real life, definitely take it. Um, but thank you for watching. And once again, it's Brad and Joe behind the camera. And uh, thank you. Catch you next time. Oh, make sure to subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Give us a comment. Give us feedback. Thank you.